Yo, Dave. What's up, man? Not much. What's up with you? Not the much. It's fucking late already. Yeah, so? They get out 15 minutes earlier today. You want to go? What do you think? Man, I got to do something. I'm really losing it. Losing what? My mind. Oh, well, maybe you need a bong hit. Fuck that. It's the same shit. I can't take it anymore. Every day, man, day after day, it's the same thing. Every day I wake up. Every day I play with the snooze button for an hour. Every day I call you up to wake your sorry ass up. And every day I try to do 10 push-ups. You can't do 10 lousy push-ups? Shut man. up. Every day we go to see the retards. And every day we end up to yours and Ari's house getting high and watching TV. I just gotta do something. Like what, Dave? Okay, check this out. Tierra del Fuego. What? Land of fire. We take a road trip to the southernmost tip of South America. Well, I was looking forward to biking around the Orient. Well, all right. Maybe we can go bungee jumping over the Grand Canyon? I'm serious, man. Schemes? Every day we come up with another scheme we'll never pull off. No, man, this one is doable. You've got to get over that beat myth. Now, everyone thinks it's better somewhere else. They got guys like us in Beijing, Barcelona, and fucking Berkeley. The difference is, they all want to come here. It's all in your head. Fuck that Zen shit. You're telling me you're at peace in your couch potato throne, channel surfing through numbing waves of blue radiation? Huh? It's not where you are. It's where you're at. When I hold a remote, I am there. I commune because my addiction is complete. I am fulfilled. You don't get it, do you? Take blue. Now, you remember blue. Blue. Yeah. His real name was Mike, but we all called him Blue because he watched so much TV. I don't remember. He's the same loser who slashed Miss Watson's tires. You mean that quiet geek who always used to wear that Billy Squire t-shirt? That's him. <laughs> Whatever happened to that loser? Well, he was just like us, but worse. Hooked, a do-nothing but watch TV out and out junkie. His dad was a TV repairman, and all of the unclaimed TV sets we end up in their living room. Day after day, week after week, year after year, Blue watched. No friends, no homework, no sports, nothing. They thought it was retarded. They came close to sending him away. Yeah, so what's the point? And then, one late night, it happens. Some network shows one of those 1950 biblical epics. You know the type with Elizabeth Taylor and Neil Brenner? It's a film on the story of Abraham. You remember the story of Abraham? No, remind me. Well, Abraham's father was an idol maker, right? Yes, yeah, so? And when the Lord called Abraham, you remember Abraham wrecked his father's idol shop? I'm with you, go ahead. So Blue, the son of a TV repairman, who has been taking in a steady 11 hours of TV a day, his entire fucking life suddenly makes the connection. Huh. He sees his father as the idol maker. Ryan Paul picks up a baseball bat and wreaks havoc. The sparks, glass, TVs burning in flames, except for one. It's in flames but it's not burning. The burning bush. Right. But it's a TV. And then it talks to him. The TV? The fucking TV. Do not come near. Put, Put off the, the shoes, shoes from your from feet. Your feet. For, For the, the place, place where you are standing, standing is holy ground. ground. Nah. 
no, really. And then Blue takes off his high tops. And the voice says, I have, I have come, come down, down to deliver to you into the wilderness. Into the wilderness. There, there you will discover, you discover the, the truth. truth. The truth? Yeah. The truth. The meaning of life. Hey, guys. Ari. Ari. What's up? Nothing much. What's up with you? Nothing much. What's up? Nothing much. What's up with you? Nothing much. I'm going to check up on my grandma. What are you guys up to? What do you think? Oh, shit. Are you guys still torturing those innocent people? Come on, it's not that bad. It's just something to do. Yeah, we're just watching. Are you still sucking on the cathode, Nikki? How about you? Who are you this week? The Maoist of Malaysia or the Stalinist of Siberia? <laughs> Junkie. You know, if you were unique, then maybe I'd feel sorry for you. But you're just a pathetic cliche. Did you know that the average gringo watches eight hours a day? I mean, think about that. We sleep for six, work for eight, and watch for eight. So what is that? Six and eight is what? Fourteen and eight is what? Twenty-two? Oh, she can add. That just leaves two hours left over to eat, shit, and fuck. Man, you're depressing me. And we gotta get a move on. Do you wanna come? I don't know. Well, what else do you have to do? I'm gonna go check up on my grandma. Well, come on, just check it out and see what it's all about. Well, if you guys come with me to my grandma's first. I thought you said they got out early today. Come on, we can raid her fridge. I don't know. She's got a pint of chunky monkey. Yeah. All Great. right. Hi, Grandma. How are you today? You're looking good. Grandma, these are my friends, Dave and Pete. I've known them for years. Hi. So what are you gonna do today, huh? Grandma, you feeling all right? She gets like this sometimes. I don't know if she knows we're here, but at least she's got the TV. You want to see something really weird? What? It only happens when Bob Barker's on. What? Watch. Here is the first item up for bids and the price is right. Oh, that would be a new color TV! Get away! Get away! Get away! Fucking weird. Come on, let's go. I gotta get out of here. Grandma, I gotta go now. But I'll come by and see you later, all right? I love you. All right, let's go. Vamanos. Pete. Pete. Junkie? Yeah. Marissa Bratter used to date him. She dumped him because she caught him jerking off to the home shopping network. Oh, man. Well, at least he wasn't jerking off to Sesame Street. Sick fuck. So finish the story. All right. Yeah, lay it on us. Blue begins his quest. So Blue is convinced that his TV watching days are over. A recovered junkie. Come on, Ari. Blue is convinced that the Lord has given him a sign and that in the wilderness he'll discover the truth. Just in his best Sunday clothes, he exposes himself to L.A., the city of the snake. Lost, he drowns himself in the three great temptations. So first he's consumed by food. Hamburgers, cheeseburgers, bacon avocado burgers, chunkies, Reese's Pieces, Almond Joys and Hershey's, Captain Crunch, Cocoa Puffs, Lucky Charms and Wheaties, Taco Bell, Mickey D's, 
Burger King and Wendy's. But he's still where he started, lost. So Blue continues his quest for the truth. And next, he's consuming the drugs. Cocaine, Cincy, ecstasy, morphine, heroin, amphetamines, crank, crack, LSD, cigarettes, chocolate, sugar, glue, coffee. But he's still where he started, lost. So, finally he searches for the truth in sex. Male hookers, female hookers, 14-year-old boy hookers, hand jobs, blow jobs, long-tongued rim jobs. But he's still where he started, lost. Food, sex, drugs. They were all decoys. Blue couldn't understand how he had missed the truth. Although he didn't have to go to Tierra del Fuego, he had searched all of LA and found nothing. But then he told himself that he would stop where he was and not move until he found the truth. And he believed it. And that is how he found it. So what's the point? He did not find it until he made up his mind to find it. And that is what he did. He sat down. And when his butt hit the ground, at that moment, he found it. He believed it. He became it. He was it. So it must be a TV set. No, asshole. It is nowhere, and it is everywhere. You can find it wherever you are. Smoking dope, fishing trout, getting laid. You just have to sit down and realize that it is it. All hail to the Grand Buddha. So your point is you can commune while watching TV? No, not just TV. You can commune while doing anything, anytime, anywhere. And we just made it. because we have an appetite for distraction, not because we're communing. Shh. The last ones are just getting out. I mean, look at us now. Instead of standing around here picking our asses, exploiting these guys, we could do something. There's nothing to do. There's no difference between sitting at home and watching TV or standing here and watching the retard. You see, there's nothing going on there and there's nothing going on here. You know, why don't you try volunteering some of your free time and helping these guys? Hey, you know what? They don't need any help. And they are doing something. We're doing something, too. There's no difference. They're just like us. There is a difference. These guys are doing something. They're living. They're going. What are you talking about? They're just going on the bus. That's right. That's exactly right. They're going on the bus. Step by step, moment by moment, they're living. They're going. What are you talking about? These guys, they understand. There is no past, no future, it's just now. They're living. They're going. I gotta go. I gotta go. Where? I gotta go with them. What the hell? Come on, we gotta go catch the bus. I'm all set right here. Let's go. 
with a busload of retards. You guys are the fucking retards. I'm getting the fuck out of here. What are you going to do? I don't know. What are you going to do? I don't know. I'm going to go watch some too. Are you turning away? 